What is up, beautiful people? This is another beautiful episode. Welcome today, guys. This is a fantastic one, and I'm gonna be so blunt and I'm gonna be focusing and talking to you know the single guys out there. First thing first, we got the vaccine. The COVID vaccine is out, and you know it is a good news. Within you know weeks, within weeks, I I believe that the vaccine should be distributed all over the United States and for those of you guys living in the United States I want to say happy Thanksgiving to every one of you guys happy Thanksgiving in advance I've not posted a video in a long time so let's get down to business like I said just like the title this episode is mainly for the single men out there so if you are single and you are actually talking to a particular lady or a particular woman that you really find interest in her and you guys have been talking for like you know weeks you know three weeks four weeks four you know five and then you are able to detect some of the behaviors that I'm about to talk about and if that woman fits in you know within the behaviors and all of the criteria that I'm about to talk about, then you should do yourself a favor and just leave her alone. She is not interested in you. So number one, if you are the one as the man that is always instigating the conversation, you are always instigating the conversation the whole time. When I say instigate, what I'm trying to say is every time, you are the one that is always testing in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. You are the one that is always testing her first. You are the one that is always calling her phone, like picking up the cell phone and making a call, calling her. You are the one that is always doing all of those, showing that you have interest. And let's say one day you picked up your cell phone and you are going through your text messages, your WhatsApp text messages, your, you know, and then you are able to, so, you know, detect that the whole time that you guys have been talking back and forth, it is always you, 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 you as the man. It is always you that is always testing first. You are always testing her first. Good morning. How are you doing? How is your day starting? How is your night? You know, what are you about to do? You know, you are the guy and you are the man that is always doing all of those. Like, you are always showing those seriousness and she has never for once you know, tested you first. She has never for once, you know, you know, called your phone. Do yourself a favor. Just leave her alone. She's not interested. That is a hundred percent assurance that she's not. Because think about it. If a woman is really interested in a guy, if a woman is really interested in you, she would Put in as much work when it comes to the both of you guys interacting. She would put in as much effort to talk, to call your phone, to test you. And if, let's say, she waited five hours in a whole day. We have 24 hours in a whole day. She waited five hours, six hours, seven hours, and she didn't hear from you. She would call your phone or test you. A woman that is really interested in you would, would do anything to at least hear from you. And if she doesn't, she will be the one to test you first. She will be the one to call your phone. She will be the one to, you know, to portray all of those seriousness. But if she's not doing any of those, and you are the one as the man that is always doing those things. Trust me. Do yourself a favor. Leave her alone. She is not worth it. She is not interested in you. That is number one. Number two. If she is always counseling dates. Let's say you've been talking to this particular lady. As a man. As a single man. You've been talking to her for like. Some weeks. Like three weeks. You know. Four. Five. And finally you decided to. Want to go on a date with her. And then. You guys already agreed, let's say, 
few weeks a uh, few days prior to the main day and then let's say a day before the main date she cancelled well that is understandable maybe something really came up fine then maybe you rescheduled you another date for the following week and then she did the same thing again this time she came up with another story forget it just forget it she's not interested and that is a perfect sign that she's either just fooling you wasting your time or she's actually talking to somebody else because again if a woman is really interested she would make sure that you know that she meets you and try to see if you guys have a chemistry but a woman that consistently you know cancel dates and try to fabricate stories forget it she's not interested that's number two number three is the body language you have to study the body language guys let's say you managed to like have her out and you guys went on a date now this is the first time you guys are actually seeing each other and now you guys are out on a date and try to study the body language if let's say you are trying to give her a hug and she's pushing away each time you're trying to sit and talk to her in a way that you are pouring out seriousness study her body language if let's say you are talking to her in a very serious way whereby you are trying to pour out your emotions and while you are doing that she's on her phone scrolling through her text messages that is a big sign that she is not interested and then if you are saying goodbye at the end of the date and then she's hugging you with her side instead of hugging you with the front the front which is like I'm facing you and you're facing me if she's let's say oh you guys are about to leave you know for the day after the date and then you wanted to give her a hug and then she's trying to hug you with her side instead of hugging you with the front trust me she's not interested in you that is a big sign leave her alone and go look for another woman that is worth your time that is a big blow to show that she is not interested in you that's number three and it is really really imperative number four if for example you guys have been talking for like weeks three weeks you know four a month than two weeks and every time maybe you guys only spoke on the phone once maybe that was the only first time when you newly met this lady and you guys exchanged numbers and then you called her and now you guys maybe spoke and maybe that was the only time you guys have ever spoken on the phone and then after that particular day every other time she's always wanting to test versus talking on the phone i mean there could be valid reasons as to why she probably want to test on the phone maybe oh she's at work maybe she's busy but if she's always doing it every time even when you as the guy as the man you know for a fact that she's off she's off work today but she rather test on the phone versus talking even when you want to talk on the phone and try to hear a voice you know but she's always wanted to test even when you try to say can we talk on the phone she's always wanted to test that is a sign she's not interested in you she's just wasting your time as a man as a single man do yourself a favor and move ahead you know sometimes I kind of feel like women really do not understand that men 
we have emotions too. Men cry. Men cry too. Men have emotions. But women, they think that, oh, it is only women that cry. It's only women that have emotions. No. Men cry too. So, if you have a woman that you are possibly interested in, and she fits in, you know, one of the above, leave her alone. She's not interested in you. I'm telling you. If a woman is really interested in a guy, just like I previously stated, she would put in as much interest as the guy is doing. She would put in as much effort as the guy is doing. If she waits five, six, seven hours in the whole day and she hasn't heard from this guy, she's going to call or she's going to test. And let's say if seven, eight, ten hours has passed and she did not even bother and you as the man, you are the one that is always testing her for us, calling her for us. Forget it. She's not interested. But I uh, hope you guys will enjoy this episode. And I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. Be safe out there, guys. Peace.